beautiful day here and uh, I picked up more chicken wire so I'm gonna finish up the lid I got a couple hinges a little handle and then uh, that will finish the lid I do want to put a separator in the middle so that we can have two groups of chickens so I might work on that too if I can find the wood that I need which I think we should have laying around somewhere so yeah it'll be good to get this finished and then I'll need to figure out some sort of waterer I do have one built but it's not quite working as well as I'd like it to so I might figure something else out I was thinking I'd need to build a feeder but then I was watching videos on YouTube and people were just throwing it on the ground and that just makes total sense so I'm not gonna worry about a feeder at least at this point but yeah Greg's been out of town for a few days so I'm hoping that tonight or maybe tomorrow he can get the electric fence hooked up on there so that we can get the birds out here as soon as possible because they are growing very fast and uh, it's a very small space that they're in so I just really want to get them out as soon as possible. Somebody just got in a dog fight, didn't you, Nabby? You being a little shithead. Cut it out. Ain't so sick of your shit, man. Beautiful morning today. And uh, we are going to go get the meat birds set up in the chicken tractor. We have a little bit of electric wire left, but it is Canada Day today, so 
All the stores will be closed, but we can at least get a little bit on there, so it should be good for one night. Um, Greg doesn't want to put in the separator, so I guess we're going to try it out and see how it is just having all 50 birds in there together. So, yeah, we're going to head over there, get the tractor in a better spot, and then I'm going to start bringing them over a couple birds at a time. Hey, we don't want to lock you in the house. It's moving day. Meat. Oh, I should be wearing different shoes. What are you wearing? Flip flops. It's just poop, Katie. Meat. That's how big they are. Oh, you guys are gonna have a wonderful day today. There's 52. One, two, three. Okay. Heavy? Yeah. Nishka. Who's the curious one? Well, I'm a little curious. I'm gonna force you to like this, this right away. <laughs> Go on that way. I expected, like... They're stupid. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Culture shock. <laughs> Look at that one's face. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, let's go get your friends. How much, how much they're gonna do in there? Welcome! Meals! It's surely that's half of them, eh? There you go! I know. Well, I know it looks dark. We have pretty harsh climate here and 
they'll have nice shade all the time in there and lots of sun exposure as well. You're gonna live a little good life. That's grass. Woo, yum yum. Today is a good day for you guys. I gotta get them some water. Yep. Wheels are gonna be essential. Tell me when you're ready. I don't I don't think they'll get caught. There's one laying down. Oh, it's for sure got it. You gotta lift it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, you good now? Well, that's not good. You good now? Yeah. Okay. Hey, there you go. That's that's working. Wow. It's still walking for having its leg underneath. Well, you see it? Well, I don't see anything injured. No, I... I yeah, I'll let you sketch them all out so they come to the front. The beautiful sunny weather has left us and we have one more thing to do to the chicken tractor before it is complete. So we are going to do that now. We've been making do the last few days without wheels on it, but it's really difficult to move. And as you would have seen earlier in the video, they, when we go towards the handles that we have to pull it, all the birds get scared to the back of the tractor and then they're just so stupid that they don't move and the tractor kind of was going over one of their legs um, which we don't want we don't want to break their legs because then that would pretty much be it for that bird so yeah wheels are going to make a big difference we've got some old training wheels from our neighbor's kids bike i guess or something and uh we're gonna get those installed. Yes, we've got this electric fence up. We did have a bear go past and I don't think that it was after the chickens. I think it was just kind of going past anyways, but I saw it kind of over by the fence behind me. We were sitting in the yard and I just saw it go past the section of fence that we still haven't finished after three years. <laughs> and we so through, uh, Greg, myself and my brother were just sitting there eating dinner and I saw the bear and I said there's a bear run run go get it so we all all three of us ran over here yelling and making sounds and that bear was out of here so um, I do have the game cam set up but I haven't seen it come back so I don't think that it was actually here for the birds it was just kind of moseying through anyways there's quite a few animal trails here we've got the electric fence we have our strong electric fence charger here. I'll put a link to it on Amazon if anyone is interested. We've been using it on solar powered marine batteries and it's super strong. We've never had any issues with any animals coming into our yard 
and we have all of the bear attractants. Pretty good, so I will link it down below if anyone is interested. Yeah, we're gonna get these wheels on. What are you doing? Pulling training wheels off so I can put it on the chicken tractor. How far? That's good, um, but I need it flush with yeah, the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get it too tight. Should work. Hope so. <laughs> I think that was a success. Yeah. For now, at least we'll see how long they last. <laughs> <laughs> but a couple screws on some training wheels. <laughs> Doesn't need much. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, well, it's, it's raised up enough that their legs won't get squished. Mm -hmm. so. And it's raised up enough that both of us can move the tractor. It's not a one person job by any means, but that's fine. We work like a team. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wrap up the video here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe, leave a comment, all that jazz. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care. You in the fern forest? <laughs> Safe? Is he just going to tall ferns? I go in the ferns so I stay safe. Good little kitty.